Have you ever wandered the beach and noticed a dead horseshoe crab? Then a couple steps later, another, and another, until you realize you've entered a horseshoe graveyard. Horseshoe crabs are most closely related to spiders and scorpions. The earliest fossils found are roughly 450 million years old. So we decided to venture out one spring night to figure out just exactly how all these prehistoric crabs get beached so often. It wasn't until sunset did we get our answers. Gathered around the fire, we began to realize new mounds of sand appearing around us. Sure enough, these strange hills were horseshoe crabs. We followed the crabs' trails back to the coastline and found a large group of them. This must be the main mating grounds, we thought, but we couldn't be more wrong. Once the moon rose, it shed light on a whole coastline covered in hundreds and hundreds of horseshoe crabs. Piles every other 10 feet around the whole beach, we were surrounded. Each spring during the high tides, thousands of male horseshoe crabs descend the coastline under the moonlight. Two thirds the size of their mates, they cluster along the water's edge as the females arrive. Mating only takes place in the presence of the sand or the mud in which those horseshoe crab eggs were hatched. The female comes ashore to lay eggs, followed by one or more males. The male, with glove-like claws on his first pair of legs, hangs onto the female shell and is pulled over the nest to fertilize the eggs. The female lays eggs in pits in the sand, sometimes 200 to 300 eggs per pit, near the high water mark. Pairs often dig into the sand above the low tide mark, but not too high because the sand will be too dry for developing eggs. Sometimes other males will latch onto him, forming a chain. Sometimes they'll just follow along. The eggs hatch a few weeks later and juveniles emerge. By fall, you can see thousands of tiny horseshoe crabs in the quiet water areas. Not only are a majority of their eggs eaten by birds over the days, but this ritual is quite a dangerous one to make for the horseshoe crabs. The venture back to the water can prove to be quite a difficult one. Many crabs head the wrong direction or don't make it to the coastline in time before the sun gets the best of them. It's a risky price to pay to mate, and after such an activity, most horseshoe crabs do make it to the shoreline. But those unfortunate enough to miss the boat get left high and dry to add to the large graveyard of horseshoe crabs that can be found on specific beaches on early spring mornings. <laughs>